Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today we are going to see how we can create an equipment finance lease in lease accounting. So for that we will directly go to the instance and we will see what are the steps which we need to follow to create equipment finance lease there. So moving to the instance now. So now after logging to the instance, go to navigator. Go to lease accounting leases. For creating a new, just click on this add icon. So here you can see that business unit and legal entity is already coming here by default. If it is not coming here, you can select your desired business unit and legal entity. Now give lease number. I'm giving for practice lease number one as lease number then give lease start date i'm giving it as january 1st 21 and end date as 31st december 22 now add your laser Then give asset type as we are creating equipment lease. I'm giving that and we are giving accounting classification as finance lease here. Now you need to add your discount rate index here. This is helpful in calculation of the present value. So given this. Now save and continue. So here you can see that. All the information is coming if you want to add it you can add it or you can take as it is also so i'm not changing anything here i'm just moving to the another tab that is assets and just click on this add icon to add the asset number we will give so for practice i'm giving asset number as asset number one then add item After adding your item, if you want to add model, you can add, but this is not mandatory field. Then give a location. So this is my location. You can see that asset started and ended is already coming here. So if you want to change or edit anything here, you can do. Otherwise, take it as it is. In my case, it is correct. So I'm not editing anything here. I'm giving just unit one and save and close. Fine. Now the next step, we will go to the payments. And we will add here payment template. So I'm giving payment template as lease equipment lease component rent then i will add supplier as advanced prop give the supplier site then if asset number which we have already created now start date you need to give the start date for the payment fine then add amount like i'm adding Now, payment purpose. There are various payment purpose available. As per your requirement, you can choose. I'm taking rent only and payment type also. Payment type also, there are various options available. What kind of payment is this? So for my case, base rate rent is fine. Then give a frequency like annually, monthly, one time, quarterly, or semi-annually. So I'm giving monthly. A number of payments will be 12. And currency is USD only. Now save and close. Fine. So after doing all this thing, just go to actions and validate it. So the lease was validated. If any error would have occurred, it will be shown in validation tab here. Fine. But this is validated successfully. Now again, go to actions and generate schedules for payment here. 
payment schedules have been generated. You can see here, if you will give in search for, there are three options in LOV, amortization summary, amortization details, payment schedules. As per your requirement, you can see the details. Like right now it is displaying amortization summary here. If you want to see payment schedules, just select that. And here is your payment schedule also. Now the next step is go to actions and submit for approval. Why this option is coming here? This option is coming here because in manage lease accounting configuration task in system options, we have given or enabled this lease transaction approval. So therefore it is asking for the approval here. So just submit for approval. Now it is submitted. So to whom it is submitted to check that you need to go to BPM worklist. So I'm moving there. Go to task configuration and search here with FI and FIN. Now just scroll down. So here you can see pin lease approval. Just go to assignees, click on this lease approver. Here you can see to whom the approval is going, it is going to Anita Kennedy. So we need to log in as Anita Kennedy and we will approve the same for our further process. So let's go to Anita Kennedy. So now, as you can see, I have logged in as Anita Kennedy here. Just go to the spell icon. And here you can see lease, lease number one has been submitted for approval, just approve it. So now we are done with the approval here. Now we will go back to KC Brown. So now I have logged into KC Brown again. So just go to the navigator now. Go to lease work area again. Search for our lease. Here it is. Now we are, you can see that as we have done the approval here, attach lease detail report tab is coming. So just click on this. So you can see by this number in the schedule process, this process is running for the lease detail report. So let's go to schedule process and see the status of our process. So for that, you need to go to tools, schedule process. Here it is. So process lease action, it is coming here as succeeded here. So now let's move back to our lease work area. Search again. This is our lease number one. Go to schedule tab. Now here you can see lease details report is coming. Here is the URL. When you will click on it, report will get downloaded. So after getting downloaded, we will see how it looked like. So just opening it. 
So this is our lease detail report for lease number one, which we have created. And you can see here, accounting standard IFRS 16. What is uh, liability amortization and right of use amortization and ASC 842 liability amortization and right of use amortization is also coming here. Fine, so this is how your report looks like and this is amortization tab. Uh, there is a one more tab of calculation in which we, you can see all the calculation, how calculation and compounding of rates and all is done here. So this is our lease detail report. So today we have seen how we can create a equipment finance lease in the instance. So this was all about it. Thank you.